Hello guys and welcome to a new camera testing video, this time about the OnePlus 5T. So the OnePlus 5T is supposed to improve the camera performance very much compared to the OnePlus 5, which a lot of people were not quite happy with, including me. They kicked out the 2x optical zoom this time and went for a high resolution 20 megapixel Sony IMX 376K secondary sensor with a large f1.7 aperture just like the 16 megapixel Sony IMX398 has it, which is the main sensor. The front camera, however, remained unchanged with a 16 megapixel Sony IMX371 with f2.0 aperture. And let me tell you that changes are insane. However, before having a look at them, let's just quickly have a look at the camera application. So this has been changed very slightly, while on the OnePlus 5 you used to swipe from the left to switch between camera modes, there now is a little arrow above the shutter button presenting you with all the different modes available, including a manual mode, which allows you to change any aspect of your picture, including manual focus and of course the exposure time for stunning low light photography. On the main screen you can also easily switch between the three main modes by swiping to the left or the right. Those main modes are video, photo and portrait aka bokeh mode. Besides of that you have some quick toggles on the top for countdown, HDR mode, aspect ratio and the LED flash. The bottom area contains a button to switch between the front and rear camera, the aforementioned shutter button and a shortcut to open the gallery. To zoom you either press the button for it to jump between preset zoom levels or simply use a pinch to zoom gesture. So let's have a look at picture samples now and what becomes quite obvious immediately is that the level of detail and sharpness has been increased significantly over the OnePlus 5. In fact, the OnePlus 5 produced worse looking pictures than the OnePlus 3 and 3T most of the time. This however is a thing of the past with the OnePlus 5T, which produces just great looking crisp pictures that I personally do really love. But there is more great stuff going on. Despite losing the optical zoom, the OnePlus 5T still is a decent zoomer. It uses both of its cameras to enhance the picture quality of the digital zoom and let me tell you that this works really well. You do notice a slight difference between the optical zoom of other phones and the digital zoom of the OnePlus 5T, but let me tell you it is very minimal and often you will only notice it with direct comparison. It's quite insane to see that the digital zoom can also handle low light situations fairly well without a huge degradation in quality. Chance is that most of you definitely won't miss the optical zoom or even notice it's missing here most of the time. Low light photography is also something the OnePlus 5T handles extremely well. Just look at those shots. Those have all been taken using the automatic mode without any tripod at all. Just point and shoot without any delay. Just instant pictures like at daylight and they still look really good and detailed. It's insane how much light the OnePlus 5T is able to squeeze out of any scenery without using any long exposure. And this makes the OnePlus 5T not only fun to use for low light photography, but also very easy to use for anyone. The only thing we dislike a bit is that the OnePlus 5T is a lens flare magnet, as you can see. Yes, that's something normal on phones, but we have never seen it to this extent on a phone yet. For the pros among you, things get even more interesting with the manual mode. Using a tripod and long exposure, we've been able to shoot some stunning, clear and crisp looking night pictures using the OnePlus 5T. Color and noise wise, they are not as perfect as the ones from a Meizu Pro 7 Plus, but they come very close and what needs to be mentioned is that the OnePlus 5T needs far shorter exposure times than the Meizu Pro 7 Plus to create similar results in terms of brightness. With the OnePlus 5T, we've never had to use more than 5 seconds of exposure time. In fact, most of the pictures you have just been looking at have been taken within a range of 0.8 to 2 seconds of exposure time, which is outstanding and reduces the risk of shakiness on a small pocket tripod that I use a lot. 
What blew my mind the most, however, is how well the portrait mode slash bouquet mode works on the OnePlus 5T. Usually you do notice that phones bouquet modes are something synthetic and on the OnePlus 5T 99% of the time you just don't. The bouquet mode looks really realistic and as good as never fails. Results are very similar to a DSLR camera. The phone does a very decent job recognizing objects and applying the effect properly, even on very complicated situations. And it even works in low light, which is something not a single dual camera phone I've tested before managed to do. Using the bouquet mode on the OnePlus 5T, I'm just blown away again and again, even after using it for more than a week now. And it's just fun using it and it produces just beautiful results. Well done OnePlus, really well done. When it comes to the front camera, the OnePlus 5T doesn't pick improvements, which is kind of a shame. Not that the front camera is bad at daylight, it isn't, but low light performance never has been good and it still isn't. Um, low light selfies always lack sharpness and detail, which is sad. I really would have wished to see some improvements there as well. The main camera can record videos in 4K and at daylight they look great and audio quality is actually okay too, but not the very best of the best. What's kind of annoying though is the overly aggressive electronic image stabilization that causes frequent picture distortions, which is just annoying. OnePlus really should have went for OIS this time. Low light video quality also isn't the best, it looks kinda grainy and significantly less sharp than daylight videos. Front camera can record with up to full HD and at daylight the footage looks okay. So I think that's all you need to know about the OnePlus 5T camera. I hope you enjoyed this little camera review, so thanks for watching and see you soon with the full review about the OnePlus 5T. Thank you.